All right, so let's talk about acute injuries. And what that means, like acute, it's not like it's adorable. It's like acute meaning like it just happened. I sprained my ankle, I pulled a muscle, I fell down and I hurt something. Like that happens and it's like, it hurts now. So usually in that first few days is that like first window of time is where the inflammatory response needs to kind of like kick into high gear and it, that takes a few days. And then things kind of stay steady for a few days and then our symptoms kind of start to improve. So every once in a while I'll get a, get a text message or a phone call and somebody will say like, hey, I just pulled my hamstring, like what do I do? It's like, you can chill out and rest a little bit. And you can encourage some light and gentle movement, but we don't wanna do anything that's like super forceful. The response I usually get is, well, can't I stretch it? And it's like, well, stretching puts load through something that just got, you know, damaged. So I'd avoid that, I'd avoid powerful movements, I'd avoid quick movements, I'd avoid like adding tons of load to any of that tissue. Light, gentle stuff is usually gonna be the best. And honestly, it just takes a little bit of time. So the first couple days, it's probably gonna, like day one, day two, maybe even into day three, things might get a little bit worse. And then days four, five, six, seven, they can kind of stabilize and should start kind of going back the other way. General rule, if it, it should take about 7, 10, 14 days to really know what we're dealing with and most stuff clears up pretty quickly, thankfully. If it doesn't, then we get into all kinds of other problems. Uh, but from a PT perspective, we want to be able to take care of some of that initial complaint uh, of that pain and injury and understand that we have done some damage to that tissue and we want to allow the body to do its job, which is to heal and repair that damage. And, and some of our interventions can be gentle movement. You know, I, you can ice, sometimes it kind of slows things down. So ice isn't a cure all, it just kind of numbs it out a little bit. But that's where gentle movement can actually be super restorative as long as it feels like you're not doing any damage to anything. So light stuff is usually best. Rest, too much rest, that doesn't get anything moving either. You know, the body, again, like I said, the body wants to do its job and we're, we want to provide the right environment for you to heal, but a lot of things that people tend to default to actually slow down the process and they don't give the body the proper time just because of an expectation standpoint. A lot of times I'll tell people, it's like, hey man, like you just smashed your finger in the door and it's gonna hurt for a few weeks. It's the same thing with like a pulled muscle or something else. And if you pull a muscle, you're gonna call me. If you smash your finger in the door, you just know it's gonna take a couple weeks. <laughs> so it's a little bit, like, you know, let's, let's respect that process. Same thing, you can get grass to grow only so fast. You can get tissue to heal only so fast. It's a physiologic process. It has to take a little bit of time. What we, what we can do as PTs during that time is help you understand where you are in that process and give you appropriate interventions to encourage that healing without detracting from or impeding that healing so your body can do the, do the correct process and then staged, give you a staged progression to it so that you can move past that injury back into normal and everyday life and movement and activity. A lot of times if we just rest too much at the beginning and then we just try to go right back to some sort of sport or activity, there's this whole gap in here that we haven't really addressed and our body, our body and our tissues just really aren't ready for it. So as a result, we can either not really get back to our activity or we get frustrated that we've been out for six weeks but we can't get back here. It's like, well, if at two weeks we'd started doing this, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, now we're ready. But if we don't do anything at the beginning, and then we just hope to jump right back in. It's probably not the best way to go. So again, that's our job is to kind of guide that. So if you're dealing with an acute injury, if you have any questions, come talk to us. This, this is what we do day in and day out for athletes all over the county. So give our specialists a call and we'll get you back playing.